Well, it's no secret ACL draws in huge crowds into town, but very few of those acts are Hispanic or Latino. We tracked one of them down, Leslie Reynaga, and in this morning's Good Day Together, she's sharing her immigrant story and how she plans to honor her culture at this year's ACL Festival. I'm going to make chilaquiles. It's basically fried tortillas with salsa, cheese. Um, well, my tricks I learned from my mom and my grandma um, back in, in Monterey, Mexico, where I grew up. It takes her back 400 miles south of Austin to Monterrey, Mexico, the place that shaped Austin musician Leslie Reynaga. I grew up in my grandma's house, and uh, my abuelita always just cooked and cooked, and that's what she loved doing. And so, again, food was always a way to bring family together. Food to bring everyone home from their walks of life. It wasn't only the food, it was la musica, the music. We just gathered around in the living room, in the dining room, wherever we were, and there's just so many memories of my childhood where music is involved. Kindergarten, the moment Leslie started on her own music journey. The name of the song, Atotonilco, after a town in Mexico. A lot of people ask me, like, when did your music career start? I don't know, I could argue that it started when I was four years old and my grandma taught me this song. She bought this bell in that Mexican town. It was tucked um, in a memory box is, with uh, reminders of the different stops in her journey, like this one. This is the first guitar I ever owned. My mom uh, bought it for me for a birthday present in high school. By that age, she'd moved from Mexico to McAllen, Texas, where she had her introduction to mariachi music, which then landed her at the University of Texas. I've always tried bringing both sides of my identity, being a Mexican immigrant, but also being American and a, a dual citizen. Um, I take a lot of pride on both of my backgrounds and my cultures, and um, it's something that I really I mean, if anything, it just comes through my music. It's a way to travel between both countries for those who can't. Um, my mom lives in Mexico and she can't cross the border. A familiar story for many daughters of immigrants. A lot of the special moments like high school graduation, college graduation, um, she just hasn't gotten to be there. And that's definitely where I would say, like, if I had to dedicate my uh, show to anybody, it would be to my mom. An emotional moment for Leslie, who's said to be a new mom herself. I stay away. It's like a mess, but <laughs> we used to have an office with all of the music stuff in it. And now we have to make space for a nursery room. So. But even if mom is 400 miles away, she always has a way of showing up through the music. You know what, Leslie? I think I do have that pink guitar here. It's here. I thought I had, I had another pink guitar that I gave my mom and it's not this one. This is my first guitar ever. So it's probably gonna be super out of tune <laughs> and I can go get my tuner, but um, this is it. Let me open it up. This is the first guitar I ever owned. Okay, that's kind of tuned. <laughs> Um, we can take it over here into the room if, if you'd like, into the nursery. Let's see. Let me think if I can find the right key for that song I was playing earlier, my uh, kindergarten hit. Totonico. No tendes por la rama, so you, 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 you. And in this moment, a way to travel between her mother's mother her mother, and now her life as a new mama. And just such a beautiful, inspiring story. Leslie performs Saturday at noon at the Barton Springs stage. She's set to make history as one of the first artists to perform with mariachis at ACL. She's bringing in Mariachi Paredes from the University of Texas.